Distributed generation is essentially little tiny power plants spread out. Um, and so generally smaller, not what we're used to central station uh, power, which is the big coal plants, the big nuclear plants, the big hydro dams or whatever. Mm -hmm. But distributed generation is, is really taking that electricity or energy generation and um, having it spread out closer to where the energy is used uh, because so much is lost in transmission as far as the efficiency that a distributed uh, system of generation um, where it's closer to where it's being used is more efficient. So when it comes to larger utility scales, uh, it makes it harder to get into these projects. So if you had um, biopower, if you had geothermal, um, that's easier on a, a small commercial or residential scale to accomplish but on a commercial scale, you just need a lot of land. Yeah, distributed generation um, is being looked at heavily, I think probably by most all utilities, and we have too. Um, we have some distributed generation on our system. Um, of course, we have our wind generator. We're very, very receptive to the distributed generation. Um, it helps on a lot of levels. It's uh, much more economical to have your power at the source that you're using it, so you don't have to distribute it over long lines. So. It's worked out well. It's something that we're receptive to and have programs in place to establish it. And part of the, the requirements, it's a Minnesota statute that um, it's kind of a step progressive program of how much of the power that you sell, the percentage has to come from renewable sustainable energies. So um, here in 2013, it's at 12%, and it increments up, um, I believe, to 17% in 2017 and then 2020, and then by 2025, you're talking 25% of the power that you sell needs to come from renewable sources. So this is helping fulfill all of that. So if a community was interested in developing a distributed generation system in their community, mm -hmm. I, I think that some of the best ways to start is to gather the community together to think about what kind of an energy system do they want for their community and what resources. I mean, I, we always start, the CERTS team always starts with the community with what are the resources in your, in your backyard. Speci specifically in the, the city of North St. Paul, which is North Metro um, suburb, uh, the kinds of distributed generation that would be the best fit there is, is solar. Um, I, there's not much of a wind resource there. Um, and so I think solar is probably the better application. I don't think we're talking about a biomass plant in downtown North St. Paul. Um, so that's probably the best application. But saying that, it's important to know that only about 22 to 25 percent of homes generally um, have the right orientation of south roof and um, solar exposure um, and access to make solar work. We kind of felt that, that solar, residential, or small business, you know, might be more feasible within the city limits than, than some of the other technologies. But I agree. Yeah, as far as bringing some of those technologies into an inner city like this, there are a lot of restrictions, a lot of things you have to take into consideration. I think initially first cost uh, keeps a lot of people from uh, putting sustainable or you know uh, decentralized systems on their houses, whether it's PV or thermal, and so they could finance it through revenue bonds if they wanted to or general obligation bonds. So I think they have access to capital to do this, and it would be very profitable, I would think, for them to do it. I, th I believe that there are ways, uh, there's a carve out of 5% towards solar in the uh, conservation improvement program that a utility can use. Are there any current examples in the metro area of distributed generation at a, at a community scale? We just saw the grand opening of a the first community solar garden in Minnesota, which is at the Wright Hennepin Electric Co-op headquarters, and um, subscribers, um, members of that co-op, could buy a panel, and um, they get a reduction of, of their on their bill for the um, percentage of the electricity that that panel produces. Um, and it's a very exciting project that are you know fully I think almost fully subscribed on that one, and so they're looking at putting out another one. So that's also very exciting. North St. Paul has the possibility to develop their own community solar garden project. 
The North St. Paul Municipal Utility Building makes an ideal site.